My name is Christian Jones, and I'm a football player. Just to see him show his ability to play soccer is crazy. It's rare to see those kind of guys, you know, that, that big playing soccer. I have never seen a soccer player that's 6'6". They all joke about it. They're like, oh, man, he used to be a soccer player. Hey, look at him now. He's fat. I'm like, okay, all right. Standing 6'6", six, six, weighing 333 pounds, Christian Jones looks like the prototypical offensive lineman. But before studying Larry Allen and Anthony Munoz, he was watching tape of Cristiano Ronaldo and Yaya Torre. My whole family is Jamaican. Every Sunday we go to the park and play. That would just be exactly what we do after church. And there's a whole Jamaican community. So uh, the older guys I, I was hanging out with, they played soccer. I wanted to be like them. My dream was to be a soccer player. That was, that was my aspirations. I started out playing striker forward. I was still kind of big. So uh, I moved back to defense, left back, center back. I was the biggest, easily. We were playing a soccer tournament. Uh, and I was a kid, I was like 10, 11. And uh, one of the opponent's dad was like, hey man, like you should be playing football for Katie High. Like, what are you doing here? That was like my first introduction of like football, football. I was like, I don't wanna play no football. Like, I'm gonna be a professional soccer player. I have it all planned out. Christian went to Cypress Woods High School fully intending on making a name for himself on the pitch. At that time, he was about 6'3 or 4, maybe about 220, 215. And I said, why does he not play football? And I uh, got to talking to some of our coaches that he's in soccer. Well, physically, Christian was always the biggest kid. We were actually a little worried his first year that we might need to special order a new uniform for the JV team. He would always get those fouls, the big guy fouls, knocking over the little guy. We'd call it the Christian Jones foul. It was freshman year, had a class with a coach called Coach Zachos, and uh, he was like, bro, like, you're not going to make it in, in soccer. I told him sophomore year, second semester, I'll be on the academy team, and now I'll get, like, college recruiting and whatnot and, you know, figure that out. He's like, okay, when you don't, you come play football. And I was just so upset at the time that I shook his hand. It was a deal. And fast forward to second semester, sophomore year, done playing soccer. He was extremely raw. Christian didn't know anything about football at the time. And, you know, he's just learning. And it was so cute. It was my first ever scrimmage on varsity. And we were playing the Woodlands. And uh, I remember uh, it, was like a, it was like a guard tackle pull. And I, I didn't know at the time. I was just running. And I was like, OK, I'm, I'm about to get my first tackle. And the guard comes out of nowhere and cleans me. I do a whole 180. And I'm laying there. I'm like, dude, do I really want to do this? And I was like, yeah, yeah. I had to make my mind up that this is the path that I'm, I'm choosing. And this is exactly what I want to do. He played D-line his junior year and, and did fine. We felt his senior year, the offensive line was the place for him. We knew he was going to continue to grow. He was a heck of an athlete. He really excelled at that. He was demolishing people left and right. We all could see as a staff that his ceiling was, was unlimited. His senior year, we saw every football coach in America. I even got to see Nick Saban walk into Cy Woods and go into Coach Faith's office, which uh, that was pretty cool. You know, it was almost like uh, superstars were coming here because Christian had all the, he had all the specs. Christian received offers from 15 schools and chose the University of Texas in 2018. By his sophomore season in 2020, he was a starter on the offensive line. Now, he's the lone senior starting on a young Longhorns O-line. Christian provides a lot of leadership, a lot of maturity. The one thing I'm really proud of Christian is he really improved from last year to this year. I am a big soccer fan. I've never seen a soccer player that big, uh, but I do think there's a lot of things that when you play soccer help you in your future. For Christian to have played soccer it makes sense because he's got really good feet as an offensive lineman. I still love soccer, but uh, you have to love what loves you back, you know? And uh, football gave me this opportunity to get a, a great education here at the university and uh, different experiences that I would never have by playing soccer as much as I loved it. Football definitely has my heart.